know if you don't do things right or follow the procedures, you won't go home that night. And so that's a great way that we prepare astronauts to fly in space. Good morning. I'm going to take you along in my day of Artemis II training today. Uh, it starts off in my home, and I like to start my day with gratitude, just appreciating all that I have and all that I have to be thankful for. Also starts off with uh, breakfast to fuel my day. Sometimes I uh, like to check up on uh, what's coming up on my day, looking at my calendar, and just an opportunity for me to read through some of the stuff that I might want to prep. Just got to the gym here at the Johnson Space Center. The sun's just rising. And uh, on the other side of me is the, uh, the moon. I don't know if you can see it just, uh, just behind me there. Okay, workout complete. This is the building where the astronaut offices are located and as well as the simulator that uh, I'll be using today for the testing. We have a good view from our offices on the sixth floor, but it does mean six floors of stairs. A little extra workout to add on to the previous workout. Okay, into the office for a few minutes before we need to be downstairs for testing. Just a bit of time to check email for any urgent responses. And then we'll head down. And we got about 10 minutes to cool off. Just on a break between testing sessions, this morning ran through an entire um, process from separation of the service module from the actual capsule that uh, the crew will be in and then all the way through landing and securing the vehicle in the Pacific Ocean. But so far it seems like it's uh, really well designed and working great. So about to head back down and start again. All right, we got our displays turned off so that uh, I can bring you in here and show you where we're doing our testing today and the team that's helping me do that. So let's see if you can see everybody there. So I've got Haifa, Jacob, and Cynthia. And this is the testing rig we're using. These are the displays we have in Orion. And what we've been doing is going through entry profiles. So we start off before um, we interface with the Earth's atmosphere, we separate from the service module, and then we watch the automation fly the capsule as we go through the displays and the checklist. So we're kind of doing nominal entry uh, simulations today. Anyway, thanks to a great team helping me get through it today. All right, so finishing up here on site, and uh, in order for to do the flight training, I have to head over to Ellington Airfield, which is not far away. Last thing we do before we go out to the airplane is a briefing. So if there was two of us, we go back and forth on these items. Since it's just me today, I review them by myself. One of them is reviewing emergency procedures. So that's all complete for me. I've filed my flight plan and done a review of all that, and now I can go into the airplane. Good day, good day. Okay, back from a successful flight in the T-38 and uh, wrapping up my day. You know if you don't do things right or follow the procedures, you won't go home that night. And so that's a great way that we prepare astronauts to fly in space. Great simulators and then great, very realistic training that helps us practice all of the skill sets we'll need to perform in space. So a great day and uh, thanks for coming along with me. Have a good night.